Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. What am I think? What am I think? You're listening to Popeye News Links. This is the Admiral Tibet who I represent. And remember, the time is so serious. Contankerous and dangerous. This is Popeye News Links. Yeah, I watch Papa's mama. Hmm? Where I watch? Papa. Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. Are you looking for a shipping company that you can trust? Ship with DMAC Express. At DMAC Express, they do door-to-door -door delivery in the 14 parishes of Jamaica. And all delivery in Kingston and Spanish Town are free. You can also pick up your delivery free at TT Tools in Westmoreland. At DMAC Express, there is no hidden fees. So, whether you're buying from Sheen, eBay, Amazon, you name it. Whether you're shipping barrels, boxes, containers, you name it. Call or WhatsApp DMAC Express at 876-468-468. 9994. That's 876-468-9994. Leave all your shipping needs to DMAC Express. You will not be disappointed. In the news today, this one took place yesterday morning. Tuesday, October 22, about 8.30. It took place at Lime Tree District in the parish of Trelawney. Our information is that a 64-year-old farmer, she's the owner of a five-apartment house. Now, this house comprised of two bedrooms, one bathroom, a kitchen, and a living room. The 64-year-old farmer, she left her home yesterday morning to go and pick up some food for her pigs. When she returned home about half an hour later, her house and all its contents were completely destroyed by fire. A unit from the Christiana Fire Department responded, but they were only able to carry out cooling down operations because by the time they reached, like I said, the entire house and all its contents were destroyed. We are told that damage is estimated at over 6 million Jamaican dollars and an investigation is being done to ascertain what could have caused this fire sad indeed next up detectives at the savannah lamar sisoka office they have arrested and charged a 59 year old security guard for four counts of rape his name is robert watt and he's living at ricketts avenue in savannah lamar in the parish of westmoreland the allegation is that the sexual assaults started when the victim was 14 years old it is alleged that between 2019 and November 2022, on four different occasions, Robert, who was in his 50s on all four occasions, held down the female and had intercourse with her against her will. The female, who is now 19 years old, she recently had the courage and otherwise to go and make a report to the police and she did just that. The police, they commenced investigations and on Monday afternoon, a raid was carried out and Robert, he was held. He has since been slapped with the reputable charges and he'll be going to the courts shortly. Now, females, females, here is my advice to you. If you were sexually assaulted when you were younger and you were afraid to report it due to the circumstances you were in or otherwise, Report it now. Sisoka detectives, they are willing to take your reports. No matter who the guy is. Don't follow nobody and leave them to time. Go report it. Let the law deal with them. Got it? In this next report, listen this now. A guy, his name is Shamari Pearson, but he's popularly known as Kush. Kush is 24 years old and he's living at Wallen Road in the Westchester area of Portmore. 
Kush. He was employed as a delivery man for a company in St. Catherine. And he was given a white 2023 chopper motorcycle by the company to use and do the deliveries. It is said that due to Kush work ethics, the manager at the company decided to stop him from working because customers were complaining bitterly about Kush. On Friday, October 11, the manager called Kush and told him that his service was no longer needed at the company. Kush was instructed to return to the company's office and hand over the bike and the keys. Hear this now. About 5 o'clock that same day, Kush, he went to the Bridgeport police station where he reported to the police that he was held up and robbed by two hoodlums in Spanish town. He told the police that the hoodlums robbed him of his cell phone and the bike. The police took his report and they commenced investigations. Early Sunday morning, October 20, about 5 o'clock. The police, acting on intelligence and armed with a search warrant, they went to Kush House where a raid was carried out and bingo. Several parts belonging to the bike that Kush reported was robbed from him was found in the house. The cell phone that he had reported was robbed, it was also found. We are learning that Kush, he took the police to another house at Portsmouth Avenue in Bridgeport where more parts that were scrapped of the bike were found. The guy living at that house, he was taken into custody by the police. His name is Delano Marston, but he's popularly known as David. David is a 28-year-old delivery man. He was subsequently charged for receiving stolen property. Kush, he was charged for simple larceny and creating public mischief. And both of them... <laughs> They'll be going to the courts shortly. And talking about Kush, the Sentan police, they have arrested and charged a guy for breaking into the Koya Herb House at Draxal in Sentan. His name is Troy Calvin Blake and he's popularly known as Japanese. Japanese is 31 years old and he's living at Roan River in the Steertown area. The allegation is that early Monday morning, October 14, about 2 o'clock. Japanese, he was seen on CCTV camera entering the property. He went to the bar area where he stole a quantity of liquor. One boombox, lighter, rolling paper, Red Bull and cigarettes. A few nights later, Japanese, he was caught on the property and he was handed over to the police. His home was searched and the boombox that he had stolen from the property was found in his house. Japanese, he was subsequently charged and he'll be going to the courts shortly. In this next report, it took place yesterday afternoon, Tuesday, October 22, about 2.30. It took place at Thompson Lane in the Waterworks area of Westmoreland. Our information is that a young man, his name is Taje Williams and he was 24 years old. Taje, he was at his home when he was about to take a shower. We are told that the bathroom is on the outside of the house and it is made out of zinc. Reports are that while Taje was entering the bathroom, he touched a section of the bathroom which had an exposed electrical wire touching the zinc. Taje, he was electrocuted. Persons rushed with him to the Savannah Lamar Hospital where he died whilst undergoing treatment. Sad indeed. In this next report, now, I carried a story on Monday, September 23. I had told you that the Hanover police, they had arrested and charged Jason Harvey, but he was popularly known as Yellow. Yellow was 44 years old and he lived at Bamboo Drive in the Hopewell area of Hanover. The police, they had been searching for Yellow for months after surveillance camera caught him breaking into a supermarket on two different occasions and stealing some foodstuffs. Yellow, he was held by the police on Saturday, 
September 21, and he was placed in custody at the police lockup in Lucy. We are told that the next evening, Sunday, September 22, about 6.30, Yellow, he was severely beaten up by prisoners in the lockup. The police and cell guard, they heard the commotion and they went to investigate. Yellow, he was seen lying on his back on the floor of the cell. Yellow was unresponsive and he had received injuries to his head and other parts of his body. We are told that when the police asked the other inmates in the cells what happened to Yellow, they told the police that Yellow, he went to the bathroom and he fell hitting his head. Yellow, he was rushed to the Noel Holmes Hospital in Lucy where he was diagnosed with traumatic brain injury. Lower respiratory tract infection, urinary tract infection, and multiple facial bone fracture. Yellow, he was later transferred to the Cornwall Regional Hospital and then to the Falmouth Hospital. Yesterday afternoon, Tuesday, October 22, at minutes after 3 o'clock, exactly one month after Yellow was beaten up in his cell, he died in the Falmouth Hospital. Hospital. The mayhem. The me so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, remember to hit on it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button as also. Hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we drop a new video, you will be one of the first to be notified. In the final report for today, a female, her name is Carisha Rankin. She was a 34-year-old bartender living at Top Lincoln in Grangel in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, word on the street is that Carisha, she used to live at Kendall in Hanover and she was involved in a relationship with a guy named Jeremy and Campbell, also known as j -Bad. Jabad, he was said to be a member of the King Valley Gang in Grangel and he was shot and killed by the police in an alleged violent confrontation in July this year in Hanover. It is being said that since Jabad was killed, Kerisha, she got involved with a guy known as Barra and they were living at Top Lincoln in Grangel. We are told that yesterday afternoon, Tuesday, October 22, Barra and Carisha, they were seen at a bar at Top Lincoln in Grangel having a drink. Barra and Carisha, they left the bar to go home. Last night, Carisha, she called a family member multiple times, telling that family member that she and Barra, they were not getting along and the family member should call the police to come and get Barra out of the house. It is reported that when Carisha made some of the calls, she was heard crying on the phone. The family member rushed to the house where it was observed that Carisha's bedroom was ransacked. Carisha, she was seen lying motionless in the bathtub with her head submerged in a pink tub which was filled with water. Carisha, she was dressed in a red blouse and blue jean shorts. There were bruises seen to her neck and the left side of her face was swollen. Carisha, she was DEAD. The police, they were called and they processed the scene. So, Barra, he's now wanted for killing Carisha. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Popeye News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe and share. Quick silver sin, if we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. Hey. Cry with a mash up Jamaica. Criminals, them a mash up Jamaica. Jamaica's mash up Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica, me sweet Jamaica. Cry with a mash up.
mash up Jamaica Criminals them a mash up Jamaica Jamaicans mash up Jamaica Oh Jamaica me sweet Jamaica I could have sunshine or rain Jamaica no problem no pain Good boy them no go to your team But me want me country back Give me me country back To the street and the lane Everybody them start complain Bloodshed what a shame what a shame But me want me country back Give me me country back Cry with a mash up Jamaica Criminals 